not so many decades ago, most scientists believed that by your second or third birthday, your brain was fully developed. At this point, it was fundamentally hardwired. Structure was now set in stone, just wasn't going to change physically from that point forward to the end of life. But the cochlear implant provided us with a clear example that helped us change that thinking because it showed us that the brain actually had the power of brain plasticity, that it had a remarkable ability to remodel itself, to work in a very different way, to accomplish amazing things at any age. Cochlear implants are devices that are placed in the inner ear of individuals who are deaf to help them regain lost hearing. The cochlea is that part of the inner ear that takes in sound vibrations and converts them into electrical signals that are interpreted by the brain as sounds, for example, the sounds of oral speech. In most individuals who are profoundly deaf, the cochlea just isn't doing this job. So cochlear implants are used to mimic the natural patterns of activity that represent the changing sounds by electrical impulses or electrical signals. Unfortunately, they really don't do that very well because compared to the refined, the elegant machinery of an intact in inner ear, cochlear implants are simple, crude machines. So when people first get a cochlear implant, they say speech sounds weird or maybe intelligible, sounds like just a bunch of noise. But after a few months of use, that can change dramatically. And people commonly report that speech sounds completely natural, and they understand it. The device didn't change during those months, so what did change? Ah, it was the brain. The brain gradually reorganized itself through millions or billions of changes in its wiring to create a new and very different neurological reconstruction of the sounds of the world, the sounds of speech, so that the person identifies those sounds as normal and now as understandable speech. The cochlear implant got the process going, but the brain does the bulk of the work. With the initial demonstration that cochlear implants could restore speech understanding several decades ago, they contributed to a revolution in our scientific understanding of the basic nature of our brain. Because it became clear that the brain in the cochlear implant user was fundamentally soft-wired, that it could and did change dramatically in their adult life. The exercises in Brain HQ came in part out of this history. If we can present the brain with the right inputs, we can engage the brain's natural plasticity to change it for the better, just as it did in this remarkable way with the cochlear implant.